Dungeon Studios here, or Andy, Calvin the Destroyer, you know how it goes. Don't have one of those hard drive platters that are removable platters anymore, but there is one at the Makerspace, so I figured I'll show this one off, since I already sold the other ones. I think I sold them someplace in Nevada. Anyway, I would just keep them as a, like a momentum or something like that, memento. This one uh, was donated to the space from somebody, but we've got it here as like a memento and we just show it off. It just sits on the uh, shelf in the EE lab. You know, the whole electronics lab. Plenty of parts. If you want to become a member, you can come in and use the soldering irons, build some projects. But these guys are really cool. This one was taken out of its case, I believe. But you can just see like just how big it is. Now the ones that I had came from a machine that was in a rack mount and I wanted to get the whole hard drive, but it was like 300 pounds. And it's cool because there was a bunch of platters in the hard drive, like three or four, I think. And then the top platter was removable. It's just this huge cartridge with a lever, you pop it out. And it's pretty neat. I think the heads just moved straight in and out. They didn't have that sweep in motion like the newer hard drives have. But yeah, looking at it, it's, it's definitely like a full 14 inches in diameter. I think I put 24 on my website at first. I'll have to update that and fix it. Like, but man, imagine, like, throw this thing as a Frisbee, you'd kill somebody. Pretty heavy. It's got that metal thing in the middle here. It's, feels like magnesium. It definitely weighs like a pound. Not really good at telling weights, but it's just so cool. To see them so big. No name brand on it. Don't know what it came from. There's some kind of uh, signature or probably like a like an employee number saying, "Oh, passed by number 16" or something like that. Um, could come apart. It's Phillips, but don't think we'd get much data off of that anyway. At least not a part number or whatnot. And I don't see anything stamped on it. I think the ones that I had were from a Nova 4 computer. But don't quote me on that. But anyway, I figured I'd just make a short video. Show you what these old hard drive platters look like. Uh, I'm pretty sure if you sprinkled magnetic dust on here and shook it off, you could probably read the sectors by eye. This is so old. <laughs> Granted, this one, whatever's on it's probably long since gone. Like, there's freaking paint smudges and fingerprints everywhere, scratches. You know, like I said, it was just sitting on a shelf for who knows how long. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, be sure to check out my other videos while you're here. And uh, have a good time. Yeah.